Welcome to Vintage Coin Op Restorations and Bally's 1939 Bally Alley. Uh, yes, you've probably seen this uh, machine in the shop before and uh, every so often things happen and here it is again. Um, had a couple issues with it. Uh, it was delivered, uh, played good for about a year and then kind of acted up again. Um, was Hopefully it was going to be able to try to fix it there on site, but it just didn't happen. Uh, a couple things, uh, we had to go through the whole machine again to make sure that it was something we didn't miss. But one of the problems of the machine um, that I usually don't change, but from now on I will always change. And uh, what it is, is this right here. It's called a selenium rectifier. Uh, it actually was bolted onto the machine. Um, flip it around. It was bolted onto the machine right on top of this uh, transformer. And what it does is changes AC power to DC power. Um, the machine worked, so I didn't think it was a problem, but we had a problem with the issue with the ball not um, spinning fast enough to get down the lane uh, quick enough. And that's part of the problem because uh, the conversion from AC to DC, the, the reason why they're doing that is to increase the power of a, an action. And in this action, it was driving that motor. Um, and uh, here's another selenium rectifier. Look at the monster size of this thing. And uh, it's for another machine that we ended up finding out that we had to take it out and replacing it. And through modern technology, this is what we end up replacing it with. That is a bridge rectifier. And that does exactly what the selenium rectifier does, but um, it'll last forever. So that was the first problem that we had that um, we just uh, we were wondering why we had some issues with it. Uh, the other problem that we had was every so often the machine would just stop and I was like well it's got to be a power source but when it came down to it we had a lot of you see these rivets on this uh, wheel and with the year that this was made in 1939 let's just look at what they used for a contact what you're looking at here is a nail. It's a brass nail hooked up to a spring and um, basically that was the contact. And if you look here, this is also the old copper, copper wire. So trying to eliminate all the possibilities, we end up replacing it with a, another braided flexible, flexible wire. So we replaced all that and we're like, okay, I think we got it. It starts working and then it happens again. So we ended up having to go to these uh, 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 rivets and we ended up um, putting some solder and uh, cleaning them up because depending on how these nails sat on, on that uh, rivet that's holding that, uh, this, these uh, brass circles to this Bakelite, because there's so much movement in there, if it's not sitting perfectly on there, it would stop. So by putting some solder on there and eliminating a break in the, the brass and making it like one continuous um, piece of metal, that seemed to solve our problem. So that was the nightmare that uh, we pretty much have been through this machine, but every so often, you know, it happens. Um, like I said, we shopped this machine out. It worked for pretty, you know, about a year, and um, back here again. So um, some things uh, are overlooked, and this was one of them. And uh, it, you know, it worked good in the shop, but over time, it was something that was just bound to happen. And hopefully, we got rid of that problem. We also uh, replaced the playfield. Well, the playfield, uh, when we put it down. We clear coated it. We clear coated it nice and smooth like a piece of glass. And as much as we wanted it to look perfect, um, the, the fact that it was so slick, the ball would come out of the 
the ball shooter and would be spinning so fast that it barely made it up to the top. So we ended up stripping our play field. And uh, in fact, the play field now looks original, just like the, the rest of the machine. And uh, I think uh, that will solve the problem, which we'll uh, do a little video uh, later on. But while I have it all open, I'd like to show everybody exactly how this machine works. So basically that's your coin mechanism. And we're going to start up the game. And here we have it set up on the bench. So we can pretty much just pretend that we're shooting and the ball would come down, run around, cross over the trigger. That would be the first shot. And then the second shot would hit and you see how the, those little buttons are all loaded by that spring. And if it didn't stop where it's supposed to and make direct contact to that little rivet, the machine would just kind of die. So hopefully our problem is all squared away. We are in ball number two and we're going to hit some more pins. The ball is going to come around. It's going to reset. Uh, we're going to hit the game one more time. And it adds up the points. We're game, uh, ball four. And this time we're going to have a strike. And now let's do another strike. There we go. And now it will be your points and game over. Though every so often this number one pin seems to want to get lazy. Uh, part of it is, if you, if you look underneath here, we've got this piece of wood that's kind of old and just not perfectly level. And if, no matter what we put inside it, every so often it's going to happen. So. That's just something that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, maybe a little more adjusting so it doesn't happen uh, that often. But uh, finally, uh, it seemed to, uh, we finally kicked this machine's butt and uh, it'll be on its way back home very soon. Thanks for watching. If you have one of these machines for sale or you need one restored, please contact us. We're located in Chicago, Illinois. Our phone number is area code 630-624-7466. Thanks for watching. And here we are with the machine all assembled and um, our um, stripping of the play field definitely uh, made the difference. Um, we had it so slick that the ball was flying on it and not uh, getting uh, any traction. So, so let's give it a go now as we push in our... So now what you're doing, um, putting your thumb on the thing, let that sucker rev up and let's... going to come down. Okay. See the little angle on that ball. The surface is not a perfect flat surface. It's got a little curve to it. So, let's try to if we aim it per perfectly straight. Rip it up. There it is. Nice. That was a strike. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, not quite. One extra pin. 
Okay, let's hear. And that was our last ball. It will add up our score as it comes around. And game is complete. There you have it, Bally Alley. Thanks for watching.